Hey guys, Frosty here and welcome. So today's video is a quick tutorial on how to download the Empire 2 mod for Empire Total War, okay? Now the first thing you want to do, if you haven't already, is you want to download WinRAR. And to do that, that's all you do. I'll leave all the links in the description, guys. Let's go into WinRAR, download free support, okay? And then just download this WinRAR. Once that is done then, and you've got WinRA on your desktop. The next thing you need to do then is go on to this source by here. Like I said, links will be in the description. And you want to download part 1, part 2, and patch 2.1. Once you've done that then, once they have completely downloaded, click on to file. Go to downloads. Okay. And then you want to click on part one. Don't worry about part two. Leave that alone. That will extract on its own. Click on that. There. Extract. Desktop. Okay. Once that's extracted to the desktop, then you will have this um, file folder by here. Click on this. Go into Empire Total War Mods. Uh, Empire Total War, sorry, go into data. And then what you need to do then is click on everything in this data pack and copy. Once you've done that, go into Steam. Right click on a Total War Empire. Properties. Local files. Browse. Then you want to go into, once the screen comes up, you want to go into data. Okay. And then you want to right click and paste everything. Then what should happen then is a screen will come up with, I think, a little green tick. Click on that to replace everything. And then that will start replacing everything. Once then that is complete, click back off here. Go back then into this. Go back into scripts. Okay. Click on everything again. Press copy. Click off. Go into your file. And then what you want to click in here then is percent app data percent. Click enter. Go down to creative assembly. Go to Empire, go to Scripts, and then right click and paste. And as you can see by there, then everything will be pasted. It'll come up the same again, just replace everything. Click OK to replace everything. Then the next stage, then, is go into um, your file again. Oh, no, sorry, you don't go to your file again. The next thing you do then is go into Downloads. Okay, and then you click on then the 2.1, open that up, extract to, desktop, okay. And then you will see then drop to data, okay. Click on this, right click, copy. Out, go into Steam, right click, properties, local files, browse, okay, and then let's go into data, then you right click and paste, and then it should come up again then um, to replace everything, just so click OK. And that is it, now you have the vanilla version of the game. Now you can if you want to, I'm not going to go over this in um, this tutorial because I haven't tried it out myself. If you click back onto your file, you go onto submods, okay, and then there's submods in here, okay, and then at the bottom, enable VDM. It gives you then a description of how to install these mods if you choose to use these mods. And that is it guys. And then you won't see anything come up or the Empire uh, War um, uh, Total War Empire change. So just click on it. Yes. 
And there you are. Empire Total War 2. It's as easy as that. If I can do it, guys, you can do it. Grand campaign. And as you can see by now, you've got a lot more factions to choose from. And there's a lot of um, things that have changed. Now, this mod is not completely done yet. Okay? But it's well on its way. So once uh, more information of this mod comes out, etc, etc, then I will make another video. So I hope this has helped, guys. I hope this has been an easy tutorial. If you do find this helpful, don't forget to leave a like button. And if you're feeling extra generous, hit that subscribe button. The support is very much appreciated. Thanks all. Stay safe. And as always, keep it frosty.